What up, y'all? It's DJ Envy. Let's get to it. Yeezy's Euro Trip, Supreme's got the keys, and stranger things have happened. This is Stock X Market Watch. Unlike our Women's World Cup team, America caught a big ol' L last week as Yeezy, Antlia, and Civ dropped exclusively overseas, with the Antlia becoming the latest Monster 350 release, fueled by sales from our European sellers. Now, this isn't the first time we've seen Kanye and Adidas do a regional drop. They first rolled out this regional release strategy back in March with the Clay, Hyperspace, and True Form colorways. And in many ways, that release jump-started this latest 350 revival. I mean, back before this release, people were damn near bored with 350s. Everybody and they mama had a pair. I know my mama did. It's like eating the same food every day. You can only be eating veggies with the brown rice for so long until you start binging some chef's table and start dreaming about steaks. I mean, trust me, I know. So Adidas rolled in the seasonings, added regional releases, and people started going nuts. That's evident in places like Singapore, where people were rioting at shops at six in the morning to get their hands on their regional synth release. I mean, ask yourself, when's the last time you saw people rioting for Yeezy 350s? I'll wait. Now, ever since the True Form 350 drop, we've had an uninterrupted string of 350 bangers, with the True Form, Glow, Black, and now the Antlia all debuting with price premiums north of 80%. Now, the other sneaker making noise this week was the most recent release from Nike and Off-White. Now, we all know Virgil has the men's fashion scene on lock, dominating both the sneaker scene and high fashion world simultaneously. But who would have thought he would make us all want a woman's track shoe? But last week, he dropped the women's exclusive Nike Zoom Terra Kiger 5 and it quickly became one of the biggest women's sneaker releases in StockX history. So move over, Blue Chill. Get out the way, L.A. Lee May. We got a new queen on the throne and on the track, and his name is Virgil. <laughs> to the streets! Supreme makes a lot of products for the over-the-top hype beast, but not everyone likes to rep the brand to the max. I mean, you can't really rock a box logo to the office unless your office is stuck in. But Supreme is for the people, also making items for the minimalist, the low-key flexor, and dudes with just a $20 bill in their pocket. Now that is where an item like the Supreme Super Soaker keychain comes in and finds a home. Supreme has released almost two dozen keychains over the years, but they rarely bring in major profits for resellers. But the Super Soaker keychain is already reselling for double retail. Aside from that handcuffs keychain, which is reselling for three times retail, it's the most profitable Supreme keychain on our marketplace. Water Wars weren't the only summer activity Supreme was supporting last week, as they also dropped cycling jerseys for all of us triathloners out there, and some Fire S logo shorts for the casual fan of the warm weather. Hope you got yours. To the week ahead! Mornings are for coffee and contemplation. Shout out to Chief Hopper. But today, they're also for copying the latest collab between Nike and Netflix fan favorite, Stranger Things. Those looking to stunt like my man Steve need to grab a pair of the Tailwinds, the Cortezes, and Blazers all dropping today and all decked out in Stranger Things colorways. That's some Demi Gorgon drip. Nike's not done there either, because Saturday, we get yet another Jordan 1 release to add to your rotation. This time, in a gym red colorway. If you remember those red not for resale ones from last year that shops were forcing kids to wear out of the store, if you liked those but didn't like the messaging, then this Saturday's drop is for you. As for the three stripes, they're having Yeezus bless us with another 700 colorway, this time in utility black with the gum sole on June 29th. As for streetwear, Supreme just dropped another Insta classic photo tee, joining icons like Kate Moss, Nasty Nas, Neil Young, and Jewel Santana. Hey! But this week's feature is a Jamaican dance hall reggae legend, Buju Bantanya. Hopefully y'all copped along with the other summer tees and added them to your collection. And before we sign off, quick shout out to our StockX Select winner, Samuel from Minnesota. He's the new proud owner of those Cause Bait Dissected Baby Milo figures. Congrats to you, my man. Enjoy that supreme W. Now lastly, it's time for this week's Market Watch Comment of the Week winner. Big ups to Tyler E. Bell. My man is not lying about the Warriors lineup, but like we talked about last week, those fours 
Def came back from a brick. So hopefully you didn't sleep on him. Either way, enjoy that StockX credit heading your way, my guy. That's all for this week, y'all. For more StockX market insights, like and subscribe to us here. Follow StockX on Instagram and Twitter. And if you plan to cop any of this heat that we speak this weekend, let us know what in the comments below. And be sure to show you some love. Happy birthday to my little sister. Play you, man. These is what you wear with a suit jacket. You put on a suit jacket, a nice, I don't know if this is peach, but I like to call it salmon.